In this video, we're going to take another look at derivative sign charts, except this time we're going to be looking at a second derivative sign chart. Recall that a first derivative sign chart can help us determine where a function is increasing and decreasing. As we'll see here, a second derivative sign chart can be used to determine where a function is concave up and where it is concave down. So let's start by finding the second derivative. Well, to do that, we need the first derivative, which would be 3x squared minus 54x. And then the second derivative would be 6x minus 54. So what we're going to do next is a lot like what we did to construct a first derivative sign chart, except we're going to be looking at the signs of the second derivative instead of the first derivative. So let's first figure out where the second derivative is 0. In this case, it's an easy equation to solve. You get one solution at x equals 19. I'm sorry, I meant to say at x equals 9. And then let's draw a derivative sign chart for the second derivative. So we start with a number line representing possible x values and indicate the x value 9 somewhere along that line. And I know that if I plug that into the second derivative, I get a zero. So just like with the first derivative sign charts, this zero value is a cutoff between where the, deriv the second derivative is going to be positive and where it's going to be negative. Usually, it's possible that it could be positive on both sides of this or negative on both sides of this. But typically, we expect to see a change. Let's see what happens in this case. Let's plug in some easy numbers. Something on the left side of 9 that would be easy might be 0. So if I take the second derivative and plug in a 0 to 6x minus 54, I get negative 54, which is negative. And if I plug in something greater than 9, let's use 10, that will be 60 minus 54, which is 6, and that's positive. So on this interval to the left of 9, the second derivative is negative. That means the first derivative is decreasing. Well, if the first derivative is decreasing, that means the slopes are decreasing. And therefore, the graph must look something like that or like that. On the right side, where the second derivative is positive, that means the first derivative is increasing. So the slopes are increasing. If the slopes are increasing, then the graph has to look like this or like this. This first pair of curves are what we call concave up. I'm sorry, concave down. And the second pair of curves I've sketched here are curves that we call concave up. So we can see from the second derivative sign chart, anywhere the second derivative is negative, the function is concave down. Anywhere the second derivative is positive, the function is concave up. So let's summarize. f of x is concave up on the interval from 9 to infinity. f of x is concave down on the interval from negative infinity to 9. And although the question didn't ask for this, I'm going to give you one more piece of terminology that's useful in this context. The point where a function changes from concave up to concave down or vice versa, that's called an inflection point. So we could say that f of x has an inflection point at x equals 0. Oh, I'm sorry, at x equals 9. OK, I misspoke a couple times in this video, so let's just summarize it all again. We want to figure out where the function is concave up and concave down. And we're going to do that by using a second derivative sign chart. So we take the first derivative and then the second derivative. We figure out where the second derivative is 0. We plot that on a number line. And then we check the intervals separated 
by any points where the second derivative is zero. We check a point in each of those intervals to decide whether the second derivative is positive or negative on those intervals. If the second derivative is positive, we say the function is concave up on that interval. If the second derivative is negative, we say the function is concave down on that interval. And any point where the function changes from concave up to concave down or vice versa is called an inflection point. 